Welcome back to the channel guys. So I'm starting to slowly get used to this whole laptop thing. It is taking me a second, but I'm getting used to it. Um so a, a few things have been have happened since the last update or since this update per se. If we go to here, click on notices. Okay, so we have these two things right here. You can see where I'm clicking on. We got that. We got that. Um, first, going over this as the new f event is live. Gene and the Phantom Trial. Um, thank you for playing Clo that Clover Phantom Knights. New event, Gene and the Phantom Trial is live from 2024-01. Collect event points. You can obtain event points by clearing items or by clearing event quests. Collect a ton of event points and items in exchange for the five star event relic summon tickets and more exchanging with event point items you can exchange event point items for event rewards at the limited sh limited shop which can be found inside the relic shop okay and then the first one is this um they're calling it the phantom Spe scepter sorry if i'm saying that wrong i think it's scepter um it raises attack greatly also raises hp and defense and displayed at max stats Alright, um, they're giving these out like crazy, which also I need to go over that in a second because something happened for that. Um, let me just finish going over this real quick. Three types of event points items, namely 5 star core 3, 4 star core 2, and 3 star core 1, which if I go into the event real quick, I'll show you what, actually I can just go into here. Um, go to brigade, go to items. Um, go to other, and they should be right here. So this is the five star core three. Okay, that's the core two and the core one. Okay, and obviously you get those through the events like normal. Right, let's head back. I just wanted to show you those real quick so you knew what they were talking about. Um, notice. Do scroll down. Do do do. Okay, you, um, by taking on or three types of event points, namely a five star, five star core three, four star core two, and three star core one, can be collected from the Jin, Jin. Sorry, I'm saying that wrong. I think it's Jin. In the Phantom Trial event, by taking on a quest of a higher difficulty, you also have a higher chance of obtaining event points. Also, I'm trying not to sneeze right now. You have. You can also exchange three star core. One for core star four two and five star core three. So like the normal, you can exchange them for whatever ones you want, or exchange four star core three for five star core three. Sorry, that four star was supposed. To, I was supposed to say core two for that. At the limited um shop found inside the relic shop, complete daily event missions and earn rewards. There are also daily event missions for you to complete every day during this event. Clear event quests every day and earn mission rewards. Daily event mission rewards, uh, it's the same like usual, clear 3 quests, or, or event quests, get 30 black jewels, clear 10 event quests, get 50, 150 black jewels, which I need to do real quick. And the event, um, is, you need to pay attention for this, the event is live from 2020 I should say 2401, um, post maintenance to 2415, okay. Um, Make use of event and bonus characters. Yeah, this is people don't really realize this, and it's on every event. You need to pay attention to this. And sometimes people don't pay attention because it's always event characters on the banners. But sometimes there's there's ones that aren't from the banners. And the first two obviously are, which is five star Asa dual wield, and my boy, you know, the spirit drive. Which I'm gonna, ooh, I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna try to. Um, and then obviously the five star Gene. If you got him from the previous banner, you can also use him. So, he's not on the current banner now that you need to get him, but he was from a banner. So, in the sense of that, yes, you would need a banner for him if you don't already have him. Um, but this one isn't from a banner, and you can. it doesn't matter if she's at 3-star, 4-star, 5-star, 6-star. Unfortunately, 7-star is only in JP right now, but 
Um, it doesn't matter as long as you have this not in a well, it will work. And I did try that out, and it does work. Um, so then for the other one, which is the new banner, which I am extremely hyped for because on JP, um, right before I joined, this guy was one of the characters that was there. Um, and he's like, he's really, he's really good from what I've heard. Um, so it says, thank you for playing Black Clover Phantom Knights. A new step up summon Jean and the Phantom Trial summon is live from 20... 2401 five star asta dual wield and five star you know spirit drive are available in this summon as a new characters bring them to the concurrent event gene and the phantom trial to gain bonus event points step up summon info the step up consists of seven steps in total after playing step one of the summon you'll be able to play step two and so on once you have played step seven of the summon you'll be able to play the summon again starting from step one step one is just um, 1800, step 2 is 3600, step 3 is 3600, and like normal, step 4 is free, step 5 is 36, and then all the way down to step 7 is, is, is step, or is just 36. And it says on the first step, you just play like normal, and just, you know, normal, whatever. Step 2 is 5 star, Asta, dual wield, 5 star, you know, spirit drive, drop rates up, also comes with 5 phantom sheets. And then step 3 is the same rates as, drop rates as step 2. Step 4 is free, but the same drop rates for step 2. And they're all just a step, the same drop rates um, for as it was on step 2, all the way up to step 7. And then on step 7, you're either guaranteed one 5-star Asta dual wield, or one 5-star Uno spirit drive. But the thing is, is you can either get both of them on that step, or you can get one of them, and then I already have gotten one of them from here, because you're guaranteed, no matter, let's say you, let's say I pull the five-star Austral Dual Wield, but I don't have the Uno. I'm guaranteed not specifically to get the Uno, but I could get the chance to get the Uno. And vice versa if I had the Uno and I want the Austral. Plus, I could get it from the previous banners. Um, okay, so event period is just from 2401. Actually, let me check the recording real quick. Okay, sorry, I was just checking real quick. Um, all the way up to four, or sorry, 24.15. Um, new character info, so for five star, Asta dual wield, which is his artwork right there. Not particularly my favorite Asta artwork, but it's definitely gonna be good. Power, all right, so these are the stats displayed at, at max, when you get him maxed out at six star. Which is really inaccurate, because in JP, he can be maxed out to seven star, so I don't know if the stats are different there. Um, but for power, he is 1,600. His role is attacker, which is, I, I don't know. Um, for HP is 4,000. Attack is 900. Defense is 300. Special defense is 275. Wisdom is 200. Luck is 250. Form type 1 is bull, and form type 2 is hyena. So hyena looks like it's new for an Asta, but black, but the bull for form type one is pretty much what we always get. All right, so it says ability info displayed at max stats. So ability AA type, uh, nah, and the name is bull thrust. Damage three large enemies in range. Low chance to ab ability seal is short. Damage four times and medium chance to ability seal slightly long with formation match. Okay. Okay. For AOM skill, there it's called There's No Stopping the Black Bulls, and it says raising AOM participants, AOM damage is large. So okay, so it looks like he's he's somewhat good so far. For his first AB skill, which is double bull horn, um, damage large for enemies in range, okay. AB skill two, which is double horn counter, gain low chance to counter slightly long and raises attack. For um, raises attack and it's a large range attack. Okay. Um, AB skill three, which is bull clothes clothesline. Sorry if I read that wrong. Um, damage is large for enemies in range. Okay. Oh, what is that? Bicorn helmet. That looks dope. Doesn't raise HP, wisdom, or special defense, it looks like, but it does raise defense to 200 and attack to 200, so it's a defense and attacking um, buff. Alright, and then for Yuno know, Spirit Drive, which I'm hoping is good. Okay, so um, it looks like the health is the same as um, up here for 
Asta, so they both have 160, or uh, sorry, 100, 1,160, there we go. Um, his roll is attacker, just like the Asta. His HP is 3,250, so his HP is lower than that Asta. Attack is 880, his defense is 175, his special defense is 425. His wisdom is 260, his luck is 250, his form type 1 is Dawn, and his form type 2 is Raccoon. Okay, so it looks like Dawn might be new. Um, ability info displayed at max stats. Okay, so ability AA, named Spirit Storm, damage 3 times um, enemies in range, lower special defense for a short amount of time, damage 4 times and lower special defense, slightly long with formation match, so it's it has a higher chance of a formation match, but it's still good either way. Okay. AOM skill do, is called Doesn't Hurt to Fight Together from Time to Time, which raises attack of AOM participants based on number of participants. So it looks like these characters are going to be good to use together on the same team, but are still good on their own. So AB skill 1, Triple Tornado Fang, Multi-Hit, random enemy for random enemies in range. AP2, advancing, advancing Gust, um, raises attack and special defense of of self and allies in range, um, slightly long for range, okay. AB3, AB skill 3, Temptation, temp, Tempest Lance, damages enemies in range, sorry for that wrong, um, Relic um, Supply, Storm Brooch, Increases number of actions somewhat long. Raises special defense um, permanent. Okay, okay. I'm not sure if I like that though. I liked where is it? Right here. I like the bicorn helmet, but I don't know if I like the um, storm brooch. Can't tell if it's a helmet or if it's an amulet. Um, okay, yep. And like normal, the event ones right here. All right. And then that, that, that's pretty much that, it there. Okay. So, I did, um, because when I joined, uh, the update today, oh, sorry, my phone's going off, shut up, phone, um, so when I did the update today, there was, um, season two ranking things, um, where was it, right, okay, it's not here, but the season two rankings had completed, so I managed to get, like, what, I think 1,800 jewels, plus, um, some from doing the event, um, so I managed to do the first banner, or first part of the banner, which I didn't do anything, or I mean, like, I didn't get anything good. And they also gave out, like, 20, um, of the five-star tickets, not these ones, but the five-star ones, and it was, it was pretty dope. So, I didn't get anything worth showing off, per se, but they also gave out, like, 20 phantom tickets, or phantom sheets, and now I'm at, like, 37, so I'm getting closer and closer to getting this off the up to six star i don't want to get this i said a six star the event charm me here let me just let me just pull it up real quick so i can show you which ones i want to get to six star it's going to be a slow grind because their event banners are gone but i can do it i want to get this asta this noel this um charmy and this mimosa the four event ones that are going to take a second i want to get them to six star especially this one and this one but um, I'm at 37 and I need 80 for each one. Actually, no, because let me check one thing real quick. Because I think with the um with you, I managed to get some from the event banner, right? Yeah, I'm at 37 out of 40, or I have 40 right here and. It costs 40 and I need 37. So I just need a couple more of these actually and I can bring her up. Oh, I could do a video on that soon. I could actually get her up real quick. Alright, alright. Um, I'll definitely still do that because I'm still going to try to get the Asta. But like, I can get her to 6 star real quick. Ooh. Alright, I'm getting distracted here. Let me get back to the main menu so I can end this video. Alright, so I'm going to end this video here guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.